श्री ए विजय कुमार मेडन स्पीच है पंद्रह मिनट ऑनरेबल डिप्टी चेयरमैन सर टू बिगिन माय मेडन स्पीच ऑनरेबल वाइस चेयरमैन सर to begin my maiden speech i quote the sign po poet thiruvalluvar in tamil murai seidu kaapattum mannavan makkatku irai endru vaikkapadum in english it means the king or the leader will be esteemed as god among men who performs his own duties and protects his people in time spirit our dynamic chief minister amas proves the best leader of all rising amas humanitarian schemes at great length prachit alavi amma created history returning to office for a second consecutive term in a state where such a feat has not been achieved in nearly 3 decades it to think my great leader dr prachit alavi amma for giving a tribute to for me and politics and providing me the highest honor of being a made member of this historical house i express my sincere feelings of gratitude and professionally thank honorable amma from the bottom of my heart i wish to express my sincere thanks and gratitude to our beloved leader honorable chief minister of tamil nadu prachit alavi amma for giving the opportunity to speak on the binamis transaction and provision amendment bill 2015 that bill seeks to amend the binami transaction act 1988 the act prohibits binami transaction and provides for confiscation binami properties the bill seeks to amend the definition of binami transactions to established adjudicating the authorities and an appellate tribunal to deal with binami transaction and specify the penalty for entering into binami transactions the bill amends this definition to add other transaction which quality as binami such as property transaction where the transaction is made in a fictitious name the owner is not aware of denies the knowledge of the ownership of the property or the person providing the consideration for the property is not traceable the bill also specifies certain cases will be exempt from the definition of a binami transaction this includes cases when a property is held by a member of a hindu individual family and is being held for is or another family members benefit and has been provided for a or paid off from holders of that family a person in a predicatory capacity a person in the name of his spouse or child and the property has been paid for them for from the person's income the standing committee on finance after examining the written submissions and hearing the news views of the ministry instruction institutions experts and state governments on the bill find that there are key issues concern areas and certain opti- operational difficulties which required to the sub- securely addressed before the bill is en- enacted in the exception to binami transaction as laid down in section 21 of the principal act section 491 sub class 12 and 4 f- of the proposed bill the expression out of known such sources of income should be replaced by the out of known sources so as to bring clarity in cases where loan funds which are not income are used as consideration for purchase of a property and not be kept out of purview of the bill further the words of the legal words and legal may also be inserted after known so as to safeguard genuine and bona fide transactions the government has accepted this recommendation of the committee it has to be ensured that any bona fide transaction should be deemed as binami when it involves transaction of immovable property entered into under 
surplus one year registered agreement to sale to a registered inevitable general power of autonomy and three the uh, re registered development agreement on paying of stamp duty in accordance with the law applicable thereto according to the bill 2015 a binami pro pro property shall not be retransferred by the binamider uh, the person who is holding the property to the beneficial owner who provide the consideration for the transaction or any person representing him if the binami property is uh, retransferred it is a uh, consider void however in the amendment bill it is said that if the binami property is disclosed as part of the income disclosure scheme of the finance act 2016 then the corresponding provisions of the bill will be will not be applicable in a federal setup like india where land is a state subject it would be deemed appropriate that the rights of con confiscated binami properties vest with the state governments instead of the central government as proposed in the bill in view of the proposition the committee has recommended to the government to re-examine this aspect in the light of the constitutional provisions the bill seeks to establish our authorities to conduct enquiries or investigations regarding binami transaction in initiating officer or approving authority and administration and adjudicating authority the standing committee has observed that it should be ensured that the provisions of the bill are not in conflict with the provisions of the existing tribunal tribal land acts administered by the states in tribal areas and scheduled areas specified under the constitution ground realities in this specified area should be thus be considered and duly factored in the amendment bill is like to have very serious impact in rural areas where because of large number of cash transaction and poor state of the poor state of land records even genuine land owners may find it difficult to establish their titles and bona fides there may be there may also be several cases of old little old title records being non traceable as a precaution there a through the and serious inquiry by the initiating officers becomes essential before the matter goes to the adjudicator or the authority the time taken for such inquiry should there therefore be extended from the appropriate pro proposed period of 30 days to 3 months this would give the affected person adequate limit to prove the, that the she or is the genuine owner of the property in question i hope this recommendation by the standing committee has been incorporated in the amendment bill the bill seeks to change <coughs> seeks to change the penalty to regress of imprisonment of one year up to seven years and a fine which may extend to 25% of the far, fair market value of the binami property the bill also specifies the penalty for providing false information to the regress of imprisonment of 6 months up to 5 years and a fine which may extend to 10% of the fair market value of the binami property certain sessions sessions courts should be designate, designated as special courts for trying any offenses which are punishable under the bill time limit for the disposing of the appeal of the appellate tribunal which say within 2 years from the date of filing of the appeal should be fixed in the bill any increase in the, this period should be an exception made only at the instance of the high court on an ap application of made by the tribunal the standing committee was observed that the provisions of the proposed bill are silent on the extra territorially where the transaction persons standing in critical <coughs> capacity minimum beneficiary owner or the property are <coughs> situated or located abroad similarly the provisions are also silent on the role of whistle blowers and their protection which would be impo important to de detect binami holdings adequate provisions in this regard should be incorporated in the bill <coughs> in the proposed bill the appointment of adjudicating authority was has been prescribed in section 9 however no such mechanism 
has been provided for appointment of the initiating officer and the approving authority. The proposed bill may therefore be reconstructed by inserting a chapter and authorities on the lines of Income Tax Act, wherein the chapter 13 providing, provides for appointment and control jurisdiction and power of such authorities so as to have greater clarity and avoid legal assistance. As in Section 32, for qualification for appointment of chairperson of the appellate of the tribunal, experience as a high court judge for a period of at least five years may be inserted with the view to having the series of experienced judges. This has been accepted and incorporated in this amendment bill. The provision in needed to the inserted in the proposed bill for right to representation for a person preferring an appeal before the Adequating authority as provided under Section 48 of the Bill for the pro preferring the appeal to the appellate tribunal. The crux of the whole problem of Binami transaction lies in transaction being recorded in the name of persons who are not the beneficiary, beneficial owners. To preempt, preempt the eliminate this, the committee decides that certain constitutional amendments in the Transaction of Property Act. 1882 and Registration Act 1908, which should be made particularly making the mandatory online registration of the immobile properties. Linkage of other number and PAN number of all, all the parties up to the transaction and the sharing the data by the registration authority with the central agencies like Income Tax Department. State should be laid on DJ digitalization of land records and the regular updation of efforts should be made to deal with the problem systematically to the extent possible without needless discretionary instruction, institutions. There should be a complete co coordination and intelligence sharing between different agencies such as income tax, excise, customs, police, banks, stock exchange, regulation such as SEBI, RBA and investigation agencies such as CBA, ED and SFU. SFU. This aspect should be adequately reflected in the bill. The committee are the view that the, this bill should be should not become another quality instrument in the hands of the Central Revenue Department to forcibly collect or mobilize taxes as the existing Income Tax Act has adequate provisions and teeth to deal the issues such as tax evasion in accounted income wealth our wealth, the committee believes that municipal multiplicity of authority should not be created and the existing setup may be utilized for this purpose. The need of the hour is to exercise these existing powers judicially and in a creative manner. The finance minister in the budget speech 2015 has stated that the, the purpose of the bill is to curb the generation of domestic back, black money. However, the standing committee find that the statement of objects and reasons of the bill is silent over the significant aspect. The intent of the government should therefore be clarified mentioned in the sta statement of objects and reasons of the bill. It should be, it is also necessary that prevention of corruption and tracking of retained money are also added as supplementary objects of the bill. Thank you, sir. Thank you.